so good morning everybody uh, now we have you are going to see that uh, sem 2 uh, sem 2 unit 1 last session i had uh, put up one uh, video for you and that will be with listening part and uh, this comprises of listening and speaking so let's begin with the class so you know over uh, the conversation over the phone like we had the panjayat session the formal conversation just going face to face now this is over the phone okay cool net service hello this cool net service uh, customer service how can i help you customer i want to register a complaint regarding my internet service cool net service from the other side what has been the problem sir or madam customer says my connection snapped suddenly i happened about 30 minutes ago cool net service could you give me your customer number customer yes my customer number is 7654321 cool net service let me check to see if we have already received a report well it hasn't been reported sir give me a moment could you be on the line i will check it out the windy weather could have caused some disruption customer yes i will wait cool net service i got in touch with the operator in your area he says that a lot of trees have fallen due to storm the technical team will be at the site in a few minutes they'll fix things up soon you should be able to get your connection in an hour's time customer thank you thank you a lot so you could see how the conversation goes between a customer and a net service provider he asks very cool how come i can help you what is that complaint which you are trying to book with me and then he started saying his id and the service wala tries to give him clear cut picture of what is the problem the customer is facing this is how the conversation in a telephone goes here is a list of expressions used in making a complaint i'm sorry to say this but i have a complaint to make sir there seems to be a problem with i'm afraid there is a slight problem with sorry to bother you but i'm not satisfied with wouldn't be a good idea too there appears to be something wrong with i was expecting but sorry to bother you but i want to complain about so see expressions for complaints like just like that you cannot go raise any kind of complaints to people you have certain expressions to be followed when you begin it you should be very approachable to people who is going to accept your complaint so you should be very very clear enough in using your phrases i'm sorry to say this but see how nice a phrase goes i have a complaint to make i'm afraid there is a slight problem with so this is how the complaint expression goes so you should learn all this i'm afraid i've got a complaint about i don't understand why excuse me but there is a problem would you mind listening to me and giving a solution for that so that is how your your sentences will travel okay so be very clear in using these phrases again and again you should repeat them then only you can use it in day to day conversations accepting a complaint see you will not be always in a place where you have to give complaints but you will be in a place where you will accept complaints so how that goes i'm so sorry but this will never happen again see how beautifully the sentence is uh, said i'm so sorry but this will never happen again i'm sorry we promise never to make the same mistake again i can't tell you how sorry i am i wish it had never happened so it's it's from the heart like you're saying that you're accepting that something has gone wrong and you're really really asking a a sorry or cutting a sorry figure to the person who is giving a complaint to you that is how 
the expression goes. So please understand, it's not only making complaints, you should be in the position to give proper expressions by accepting the complaints too. Rejecting, it's not always you have to accept a complaint. Sometimes you have to reject. No, it's not done from our side. So when you are when you are into that area, sorry, there is nothing we can do about it. Sorry, but it's not our fault. Or you can say, I'm afraid there isn't much we can do about it. So see how nicely these sentences are given for you in your book. Very, very nicely written, very nicely framed. The only thing is you should read them and you should see to that you are using the expressions rightly in the right place. When you are going to reject a complaint, somebody has said something wrong about you. Like, sorry, there is nothing what I can do about it. Okay, or sorry, but it's not my fault or our fault on the whole. So that is how you should try to frame your sentences. Some of the features of active listening are, so now the speaking part goes, somebody is talking, somebody is accepting the complaint, somebody is rejecting the complaints and the, on the other side how good listener you are, being neutral and non-judgmental. So you should be very much, uh, you should not be in a position to fall on either side, like you should be very much neutral when you are listening to some complaints. You should not be heeding to one person's complaint and uh, doesn't give uh, any kind of lending ears to the one who is trying to give his sides, like his sides uh, uh, pluses and the minuses he would be ready to share with you, right? So you should be very much neutral, okay? Listening with patience is very important. When you try to hear the A sides complaint, you should be ready to even give your time for the B sides, okay? Uh, uh, phrases also it's not that just okay you have listened something okay that is all the thing ends up and you're supporting somebody no you should be a neutral person giving verbal and non-verbal feedback signs of listening so now how you're going to be a listener means how you're going to be your uh, your face expressions you have to have a smiling face you have to have eye contact you have to listen to both a a sides versions and b sides versions you have to ask questions okay reflecting back what is said asking for some clarification and then you have to summarize so it's not just like that okay everything is fine i'm giving you an answer for this no you have to reflect back what was said and then you have to ask for the clarification was that right what you said you have proof for it all that you should say and finally you should summarize so expression showing understanding and sympathy is very important uh, as though like you're not at all interested in listening to that fellow's uh, version you should not have your face like your your expression should be as though okay you're listening to what he is trying to say they understand what are you going through i sympathize with you this is what anyone in your place would feel this is indeed a difficult situation so this is how your expressions to people who are giving you complaints or some kind of uh, problem they are tr trying to address to you, you are supposed to show this kind of expressions first. The sympathy must be shown. I understand. I know. I understand your problem. I sympathize with you. Okay? Mm, this is indeed a difficult situation. I understand. You have undergone such a pain. I understand all that. So this is how the expression should be. Gen disagrees okay gentle disagrees it's not that always you should agree to someone sometimes you should disagree to them also how you should say that disagreement sentences you have a point but could you look at it from a different angle yes whatever you say is right but please try to to think about it in a different angle I'm afraid that might not be a helpful approach see you you are saying it in the right way but I am afraid when I'm, when I'm thinking it from, uh, from my side, I'm afraid that it is not going to be a helpful thing. It's not going to be a helpful approach. I'm afraid that you won't get far with that approach. See, it can only work out two days or three days. It is not going to be a, a permanent solution. Do you think that would solve your problem? So that is how I should ask my expressions. Like if I'm going to give a disagreeable thing to the person who is giving you some problems okay so if they are coming to you if you are agreeing there are some expressions if you are not agreeing to it these are the expressions which you so all this is for your conversations children only listening and speaking the first unit is comprising and that is what expressions they have given you so beautifully 
learn all these expressions and try to express them in your day to day conversations. Offering solutions. I would suggest that you. Why don't you? Since you have worked out the options, you must now choose one of them. You need to take a decision. You must refrain from taking this step doing this. So, see how you are offering solutions. So, you have come to the solution part. I would suggest that you would listen to this person and continue doing this work. Why don't you change your attitude? Since you have worked out the options, you must now choose one of them. Why is that you are still lingering with the old one? You need to take a decision now. It's high time you should come to a solution. You must refrain from taking this step doing this at this right point of time. So, my expressions for offering solutions. So, you are learning all these conversational expressions. Children, use them rightly in the right time.